Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL I'll bring you another Batman v Superman video. And today, what we're going to be talking about is the nightmare sequence in Batman v Superman and my theory about it or my speculation about what is going on during it. So, with that said, for those of you who don't know or don't want to hear about specific details for Batman v Superman, spoilery details, click off this video and come back to it after you've seen the film. I'm going to give you three seconds to click off the video. Are you gone? All right. Everyone who's sticking around has seen the film or just deliberately wants them to get spoiled. Uh, I don't know. If you're sticking around at this point, you're going to get spoiled. So let's just get right into this. The main question that everybody had on their minds when they walked out of Batman v Superman, even at the fan screening when there's a lot of people who've read comics, who understand the history and everything, was what the hell happened during the nightmare sequence and i mean the entire sequence even after bruce wakes up and sees the flash people were wondering why was the flash there what was he saying why is superman just this brutal murderer who has his army working for him what's going on is is earth invaded by dark side why are there the the parademons well let me answer it for you so the flash what he says specifically to bruce during that nightmare sequence is he says that Lois Lane is the key. He explains to Bruce that Bruce was right about him. He goes on to say that he was too soon. Basically, the Flash in his own mind when, when he's speaking to Bruce is saying that he arrived too soon. That he wasn't supposed to arrive at that exact moment to warn Bruce. Maybe he was supposed to arrive after Superman returns from his death. Who knows? But I think... In my mind, that yes, the Flash probably is talking about Superman when he says you were right about him and you should fear him, but I think he's also talking about Darkseid. Because of course, in this future, I'm sure that the world has already been exposed to Darkseid because it seems like it's been invaded by him. He has this giant Omega symbol planted into the ground, all the parademons running around Earth trying to crap capture the sons of Batman. Well, Moving on, people were wondering why Batman was able to see all this stuff. How the hell he goes to sleep and he sees like 10, 20 years into the future? Well, the way I can explain it, or at least the way I think it went down, was that Batman got this vision through a fragmented reality that hasn't happened yet. The Flash helped Bruce see this vision through the Speed Force. While the Flash did arrive too soon, as he says himself, he left enough of a warning for Bruce to warrant his search for the Justice League to help protect Earth from whatever is coming to invade it. Of course, as we all know, that being Darkseid. We also know by the end of the film that Lex is fully aware of Darkseid or someone otherworldly for he says he's hungry and he's coming as well as flipping the painting in his office symbolizing that a devil of some sorts is coming to earth and of course the devils don't come from hell beneath us. They come from the sky. We also learn that Lex gets complete access to the Kryptonian ship that we saw in Man of Steel, and he asks the tech inside the ship to teach him everything that the ship knows about the otherworldly beings. We don't see how that scene continues, so I'm only going to assume that he probably learns of some otherworldly beings like maybe Brainiac, Darkseid, and so on and so forth. So to kind of recap, Everything that goes down in this nightmare sequence. Well, the Flash is telling Batman that Lois Lane is the key. And we clearly see that during the nightmare sequence, Lois has died. Because Superman, after killing the last remaining sons of Batman, says, You took her away from me. Or, I'm paraphrasing, he says something under those lines. And then he kills Batman. So, what I'm only going to assume is is that Batman was involved in some way, shape, or form in not being able to save Lois Lane. Maybe not intentionally not saving her. You know, he probably tried to save her or something and she just bit the dust. This caused Superman to just go crazy. But why would Superman go this crazy to work for this giant supervillain and take over the entire planet? Unless Darkseid has got some other tricks up his sleeve, maybe some sort of mind control, who knows? I don't. All I know is this entire scene still leaves me with a million other questions, even though I have somewhat of an explanation as to what is going on. But yeah, to continue on, 
Batman basically gets this entire vision of the future and the and sees this entire nightmare sequence through the Flash and the Speed Force. The Flash helps Bruce see the future to help warn him about what is going to happen. This leaving Bruce by the end of the movie with that thought that he needs to find the Justice League so they can come together and help save the Earth from whatever this future is going to be like. With all that said, hopefully I was able to clarify some of your questions with the nightmare sequence. Like I said, this is just a theory. Maybe none of this is true. Maybe all of it is true. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. All I know is having all these questions and not having answers for them is such an awesome thing for me because now I'm so pumped for the Justice League films. We're going to get these answers. We're going to figure out and it's going to come full circle. And I guarantee you come time for Justice League when we see that moment where the Flash, you know, goes through the Speed Force to warn Bruce and we see it from his perspective, people are going to have a lot more of an appreciation for Batman v Superman. All that said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.